Man, um, I became a fan of Lifetime movies when, um, I remember it was 2000 and, it was, was it 2011 or 12? I think it was 2000 and, um, I would say 2000, either 2011 or 2012, I'm, I don't remember. Um, I think, I believe it was 2011, like, around August or September, uh, it could have been October, but, um, I think it was, I think it was August or September, I'm not sure, but, um, or it could have been October, I'm, I don't remember, but, um, I remember we were flipping through the channels and, um, we landed, um, I forgot who it was, I don't know if it was my brother or sister, but, um, they landed, one of, one of them landed on Lifetime. And um, I was like, oh, no, don't change it. It's that one movie I watched when I was in uh, high school, you know, like I was freshman high school, like for sex ed, it was uh, this girl gets syphilis and, you know, like everybody, like she loses her friends and her friends are like getting syphilis too. And the guy who gave her syphilis is this popular guy who's uh, tall and very handsome. And yeah, let's, let's, let's check it out. So then um, we're watching it and um, yeah, and then they were interested in it. Like, oh, this movie's pretty good. And then... The next movie comes on and i believe we i forgot what what was the next movie that came on but we watched that one and then from there we just became a fan of lifetime movies i kind of stopped watching lifetime movies i would say around like 2014 or 2015 i'll say i thought i stopped watching lifetime movies around 2015 and um so yeah since that since 2011 you know like we were just really interested in lifetime movies and um i remember our favorite lifetime movie to watch was uh reviving ophelia which was that was like my favorite my one of my i'll say my my i'll say my second favorite my first favorite is uh triple dog but um well triple dog i guess it wouldn't really count as a well it was shown it, was, it premiered on lifetime so i consider it a lifetime movie and the you know the way it's filmed and you come on it's a lifetime movie but um yeah like since 2011 like around august september october i'm not sure but you know we yeah like you know lifetime i think lifetime played a big role in like the way i write because i like to move there they're so ridiculous but they're so fun to watch like reviving ophelia was like about um this uh girl's boyfriend who's very abusive and he beats her so bad to the to the point where she's in the hospital, and then he lies and tells her uh, parents, "Oh, she was in a car accident." When in reality, he just beat the living shit out of her, and um, it's crazy because uh, one of our uh, favorite, what is a favorite, but one of our the scene that really like shook us in Revival Field is when he punched her in the face in the car. Like we didn't expect that, you know. So oh, I remember the first time, it I didn't see it. I remember the first time. Um, it happened. My brother says, oh my gosh, like, I was like, what, what, what happened? Cause I, I believe I was in the kitchen or in the garage or upstairs. I wasn't uh, around. He's like, oh, he just punched her in the face. I'm like, what? I missed it. And the second time it happened, I could have wild with my cousin, but I wanted to see his reaction. So instead of seeing the punch, I looked at my cousin to see how he would react. And when she, um, when she got punched in the face, he like freaked out and I feel like it was worth it seeing, um, my cousin reaction and I, and I feel like till still to this day I haven't seen him punch her in the face but that, that's a really great movie and um triple dog as well is a is a great um movie as well um shout out to rat girl and um yeah lifetime yeah lifetime movies are awesome man. I think lifetime movies are are real great and I feel like you know I feel like lifetime movies in a way inspired the way I write so yeah